The Cardinals trying to slow down the Red Hot Cubs and salvage the finale of their three-game series at Bush Stadium. Randall Gritchick back in the outfield for the first time since August 16th when he injured his right elbow. The team instructing him to be cautious with his throws. He'd be tested in the top of the first. And that's driven into right center field. Carpenter has to go way out to get the cut from Gritchick who flips it to Hayward. Carpenter to second base. Run does score and Rizzo is in a rundown between second and third. No one is there. Martinez can't get there. He's safe. Everything goes wrong on that play for St. Louis. The first is Randall Gritchett underhands it to Jason Hayward. Randall Gritchick, a center fielder who could not throw the ball. His arm sore. Lateraling it to Hayward. That allows Coglin a chance to score. And now nobody is behind. I understand Carlos Martinez is backing up home. Randall Gritchick, you had words with him about that very thing before the game. Yeah, he said it's going to be difficult for him to throw. The 1 1. Up the middle, that's a base hit. Richard can't throw Lester can't really run doesn't matter and the Cubs knowing that also take third base easily and if Gritchick is throwing anywhere near up to his performance no way does Lester score or Russell go to third here's the next long fly ball on the right field line oh, watch out over there oh what a catch by their right fielder. Coglin as he caught the ball and then tumbled into the uh, seats, catches the ball. What a catch. That's as good as I've seen. How about you? He hit that side wall and then wow. went right on over. One of the more important at bats of the season for any Cardinal. The 2 1. Carpenter rips it into center. Cosma, being way tall. He will score. And it's 3 to 2, Chicago. And now Rodney will face Stephen Piscotti. Here's a swing and a drive. Hit well. Right center field. That's going to get past Fowler and go off the wall. One run's going to score. Right behind the pinch runner Borges. Carpenter crosses the plate. It's a two run double. And a fired up Stephen Piscotti at second base. Pumps his fist in the air. And the Cardinals have taken a four to three lead in the bottom of the eighth inning against the Cubs. You think about the importance of this game. Chicago, if they win, they're five and a half back instead, seven and a half with 23 to go. Got to be that 98 mile an hour fastball. Ground ball to second base. A dramatic win for the St. Louis Cardinals. St. Louis with 88 wins. The Cubs now seven and a half back of the Cardinals. St. Louis snaps the Cubs' five-game win streak. Jason Hayward tied his career high with his 21st stolen base. More good news for the Cards as Matt Adams was activated from the 60-day disabled list. For Chicago, Kyle Schwarber was 0 for 4 with four strikeouts in his first start since September 1st.